Hey Astroneers, in today's episode we're going to my favorite planet of all time, 8 Rogues. If you're new here, that's an old joke I keep making for some reason. I absolutely hate Aatrox, but it's spooky and perfect for Halloween month. Oh, and also we need some methane. Yeah, that's a big part of it, the methane. And yes, I know there's methane on Novus as well, but it's Halloween month, so let's keep it spooky. Plus, we also need hydrogen, and Aatrox has both. And we can also get some helium if we are on Aatrox. If we want to go to space, the first thing we'll need is a shuttle. Luckily, I've gathered the bytes we need to unlock the small one, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, we've researched the small shuttle. Don't worry, we're also gonna unlock the large shuttle in this video. That way we can really establish a gas mining operation on Aatrox. Now we'll obviously need to get the soil fuel thruster first and then we'll move over to the hydrazine one. Because of course to get the steel we need argon, so that's gonna be a trip to Glacio later in this video. So for right now we'll go ahead and unlock the solid fuel thruster. Let's go ahead and start crafting the shuttle and I'm gonna go gather some ammonium for the thruster. And these are crafting really fast right now because since the last video I've added some more power producing items here. I found all of the medium solar panels on wrecked rovers and I've crafted all the small ones. Plus we've got some small generators for when we need some extra power in the base. Oh and the way we got that many bytes is we used these research items. The ones that come in the little boxes, like these ones. I think they are called research aids. Those give you a lot of bytes. And to unlock those boxes, we just use two small generators. And that's enough, trust me. Then we used packagers so we could gather more of these. And then bring them back to the base with the rover. I mean the buggy. I'm actually hoping that we'll be able to unlock the large rover in the next episode. We have the bytes for it right now, but we don't have the materials. Yeah, let's go ahead and unlock the landing pad as well. We can place one right here. And then we could use one on Aatrox as well. But yeah, got these unpacked. Another strategy I use to get a ton of bytes are these research samples that you can find. And the ones in the caves give you even more bytes. So it's pretty easy to just run a tether line through here and gather a ton of these. Or you can also use two of these oxygen tanks and that should be more than enough. And you'll have a ton of bytes in no time doing this. And if you want to, you can do it on the surface as well, but it works better in the caves. Great, now that we got all those bytes, we can unlock the chemistry lab and the atmospheric condenser. And we still have some leftover bytes, which we'll gather for the large shuttle. Now let's head back to base and craft the chemistry lab. And then using that, we'll get the materials needed for the atmospheric condenser. And I think we'll need to craft three atmospheric condensers. One for the base on Kelidor, one we'll put on Glacio to get the Argon, and then one on Aatrox, of course. And then we're gonna establish a little outpost base on Aatrox, and we'll probably even have multiple atmospheric condensers there, like we had on the last save. We got the materials we need to craft the chemistry lab, and let's go ahead and craft the landing pad as well. Now while those finish crafting, I'll gather the materials for the atmospheric condensers, and then we can craft those. Our chemistry lab has finished crafting, I've placed these platforms here, the atmospheric condenser is gonna go right next to it. Now for the atmospheric condenser we'll need iron, glass and plastic. So let's go ahead and craft some plastic, we'll need carbon and compound. So we'll craft three of these, set it on repeat. And for the iron we'll have to go to Glacio, but we're going there anyway to get the argon. Let's unlock the landing pad as well. And there we go. So I'll head over to Glacio gather all the hematite we need and then we'll bring it back to Kelidor to smelt it into iron. We'll land in a random spot here, doesn't really matter and I can already see some hematite right next to our landing spot. So that's great, let's go ahead and collect this. And we're back on Kelidor, we'll land right at the base. And now we can go ahead and smelt all of this hematite. We'll also replace the solid fuel thruster. There we go. And now we can go ahead and craft our atmospheric condensers. And of course it's night again, we don't really have much power. We'll just use the soil centrifuge to gather more organic for the generators. We got all three of them crafted, so let's take one and unpack it right here. Then we can go ahead and start creating hydrogen. Put it on repeat and we should have all of these slots filled with hydrogen. We're gonna need that to craft the hydrazine. In order to get hydrazine we'll need two ammonium and one hydrogen. We can use the soil centrifuge to gather the ammonium but there's a deposit right next to the base so we'll use that one first. Then the hydrogen is gathered right now by the atmospheric condenser 
and then we'll need the chemistry lab to actually craft the hydrazine. So we're all set up, except for some ammonium, which I'm going to gather right now. And we got 8 ammonium right here, that should be enough for 4 hydrazine. If we need more, we're gonna gather some more ammonium. But yeah, right now we can't really craft the hydrazine thruster because we'll need more gases for that, which means we have to go to Aatrox. Now in order to go to Aatrox right now, we'll need to use the small shuttle, which only has one place for a tier 2 item like this. So we'll have to get the atmospheric condenser there, and then we'll have to get its platform. So we're gonna have two trips, which means we'll have to craft another solid fuel thruster. And I'll also have in the backpack some medium storages and some small platforms too, because we'll need to put some power items on there. In case you don't know, an atmospheric condenser needs a ton of power, 20 units per second, that's a lot especially on Aatrox where you have low sun and wind power. So that's gonna be a challenge to get the power to the atmospheric condenser. But we should be able to do that with some small solar panels and wind turbines. Okay, so this is the first trip to Aatrox. And we're gonna set up the first half of our nitrogen farm. As we produce nitrogen, we'll have the materials needed for the large shuttle. While we get those, we'll go to Glacio again to get Argon. So we have the materials for the Hydrazine Thruster. And then we can come with a large shuttle to Aatrox and establish the whole outpost. And we can get all the gases like Helium, Nitrogen or Methane. But right now, let's start off small by flattening out the surface somewhere here. Now we can unpack our platform. Here's where the atmospheric condenser is gonna sit. And then we also have two of these small platforms just to add some power items to them. There we go, I also brought some small solar panels and we'll definitely get more of these. But now I'm gonna head back and get the other materials. And I'm back with the atmospheric condenser. Unpack it right here. We've also got some medium storages pack those as well and we can go ahead and start gathering nitrogen we've also got some more power items now we have both solar and wind power here that should be enough so that we consistently produce nitrogen now this is obviously not going at top speed we don't have 20 units per second right here but as long as it's going that's good enough i'm just trying to look around maybe we find some more power items and oh, that's a lot of hazards right there. Let's stay clear of that. Found some more wind turbines, that's good. And while this farm is slowly gathering nitrogen, we'll be going to Glacio so we can get some argon as well. So we are headed to Glacio right now and we'll establish an argon base right here. It looks like we landed in a valley. And we're essentially gonna do the same setup as on Aatrox, but this time we're only gonna use wind power because that's very high on Glacio whereas sun power is low here. Look at how much wind there is already. And we've also got the atmospheric condenser right here. And some more power items. We'll set this to mine argon. And there we go. I actually forgot to bring some medium storages for this one, but we don't really need that much argon for this episode. So while that finishes crafting, we've actually got enough bytes to unlock the large shuttle. And we have enough bytes for the hydrazine thruster, so we'll unlock that as well. Now all we have to do is collect our argon, then go back to Aatrox and collect the nitrogen, and we are ready to craft our large shuttle and the hydrazine thruster. We've already got all the items we need to craft hydrazine, so we should be good to go. We got all the argon we need, now we're gonna head to Aatrox to get the nitrogen. I brought a beacon this time, so we don't lose it again. I think it's over there. Yeah, I can see it. And here's our beacon. And we can grab some nitrogen as well. Now let's change the thruster. And we can head back to Kalidor and craft all the materials we need. So I'm gonna throw the gases right here next to the chemistry lab. And I've gathered all the materials we need right here. I actually went back to Glacio to get titanium because I forgot to do that the first time we went there. And yeah, we've got the iron, the ceramic, carbon and graphite. That's all we need. And of course, we'll need the ammonium and all these gases. But you might be wondering, what's the dynamite for? Well, that's to get exochips. Because we'll also need two exochips for the large shuttle and one more for the hydrazine thruster. I gathered two exocaches, placed them in this hole right here, and we're gonna use one dynamite to open both of them. And there we go. We should have plenty of exochips right here. 
yeah we got six so that's great we'll have three more for maybe building a rover next time so yeah let's go ahead and actually see what we need for the hydrazine thruster we want one exochip and one steel let's go ahead and craft the steel there's the steel so we need iron carbon and argon we got all of those we'll go ahead and craft that and now we can start crafting our hydrazine thruster next let's move over to the shuttle Here's the large shuttle, we need two exochips, one titanium alloy and one ceramic, so let's go ahead and craft the titanium alloy at the chemistry lab. And for that we need titanium, graphene and nitrogen. We got the titanium, but we still need graphene, so let's go ahead and search for that one. Alright, graphene, we need graphite and hydrazine. We got the graphite, so let's craft some hydrazine, for which we'll need two ammonium and one hydrogen. If that sounded complicated, wait until you see the procedure to get a nanocarbon alloy, which we will definitely do in a future episode. Great, now that we've got the hydrazine, let's get the graphene going. And with this graphene, we can finally craft our titanium alloy. There we go. And we can finally throw away this small shuttle and that solid fuel thruster. Look at how many we used. And we also let one or two on Glacio, but we're gonna have a much easier time with the hydrazine one because all we need basically is hydrazine. Go ahead and craft the large shuttle and in the meantime, let's craft some hydrazine as well. We'll put it on repeat and there we go. See, that was easy. All we needed to do was go to Glacio and Aatrox and establish small outposts on each of those, then use like five or six solid fuel thrusters to go back and forward between them. And yeah, that was, that was pretty easy, right? Right? And the large shuttle is done crafting, so let's go ahead and unpack that. We'll unpack the thruster as well. Let's equip the thruster onto the shuttle, and then we'll need some hydrazine for it. Got three right here. And there we go, we've got our fully equipped large shuttle with the hydrazine thruster. Now it's time to fully stock up and go to Aatrox, establish that small outpost and get all the gases we need. And we're gonna use that for the Exofarm event. Now we've got a little bit of a power problem on the Kelidor base, so we're gonna need some more power items, but lucky for us, the Coldrongia plant doesn't require any power to function, so we're gonna have no problem during the Exofarm with that. So yeah, we're headed to Aatrox again. And I got all the materials right here, so we've got three large platform B, one atmosphere condenser, we got some solar power over there, and on this side we've got wind power. That should be enough for right now, so let's blast off. Now it should be easier to find the base, because we've got a beacon on it. I'm gonna set up all of these materials, and then I'm gonna show you what the base looks like. And this is what it's gonna look like for now. Got some solar and wind power over on this side, and here we've got our two atmospheric condensers. This one is making nitrogen right now, but I think we could change that to helium. Actually, we'll do that right now. Let's get some more helium on there. And this one will be methane. And we'll need all the methane we can get to craft silicone at our brand new chemistry lab. Then with the silicone we can get some medium gas canisters. And that means we're officially ready to start Astroneer's Halloween limited time event Exofarm. Now, if you're curious about that, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And hey, let's all get into the Halloween spirit together. Cheers, Astroneers!